Hello, and today you are looking at a NAPCO 20 station phosphate barrel line brought to you by Landco Corporation. There are seven 42 inch wide by 20 inch diameter barrels that are stainless steel. I will walk you through the uh, process from the load, starting with a load right here. They were doing loading with the drums, dumping onto the uh, vertical conveyor control panel, which we will come back to. Vertical conveyor comes up into the actual barrels. Out of the seven barrels, there are two barrels that are like this, which are eight compartment barrels. Uh, so they could do smaller parts when needed uh, in order to avoid damaging or dinging any parts here. This is a shuttle cart. Uh, once the barrel is loaded, uh, the shuttle cart will take it over into the center of the machine here, and then I will go up onto the catwalk there. You can actually see the hoist here in operation. Runs very smooth. All of the gear drives are fully functional. Here's your operator stand where each recipe can be scanned in by the operator and then you can actually see on the screen here uh, in accordance where the hoist is, where it's going to go next, etc. Uh, very good for uh, ease of use. It is an RS view that has an Allen Bradley Slick 500 in the control panel uh, that we will show you in a, in a moment. All of the superstructure is bolted together for ease of removal and reinstallation. The hoist is actually positioned by this laser uh, right here that you can see and that's how the hoist is operated. The line is in excellent condition. The line can also be used for a rack line due to the size and depth of the tanks. The individual tank sizes are 45 inches direction of travel, 54 inches front to back, and 56 inches on the depth. Here is the start of the process as the barrel is loaded. It will now shuttle into the machine. Hoist will come over, grab the barrel, and start in station one according to the recipe as programmed in. Barrels do have upward rotation. Festoon does run in a channel, keeping it cleaner. There are Viron fume hoods on the back of most of these tanks as we will go down. barrels that are rotating. Two of them have a divider right down the center. Two of them are wide open in the middle. Sorry, three of them are wide open in the middle and then there are two of these eight compartment units as well. Here is the barrel as it's completed. There is a discharge chute that it rides on along with a conveyor underneath uh, a manual pull conveyor that does allow the parts to come back out. Along the back side there, the last tank there is a cement and then there is a hot air dryer which we'll show you from the other side on there, followed by a cement, a sealer and then a DI rinse. Here you have a cement strip, spray rinse, alkaline wash, 
alkaline wash, counter flow rinse, warm water rinse, acid rinse, poly tank. Here's an acid tank. It does have a mixer. This is the microphosphate tank. As you can see, these tanks have been well cared for, very clean. This is a microphosphate tank here. In the last tank they were using this as a coil clean uh, tank. Had a chemical in there that would uh, clean the actual heating and cooling coils which are also included. There's the hoist in operation. Overall condition of this machine is in excellent condition. It was remanufactured in 1999. There's a service hoist. There's a series of the coils that are included. As you can see, all of the tanks are on uh, I-beams, so they are high and dry off of the ground. Here is the unload conveyor, which is powered, that will bring the parts back to this location for loading, unloading. Along the back side of the, uh, the line, here's the actual blower for the dryer. Steam lines. There is a trunk line uh, that does go with all of these hoods. Uh, if the end user is interested, we will try to salvage those as best we can. Back side of the line, great condition. Overall dimensions of this NAPCO 20 station phosphate line are 93 feet long, 13 foot 4 inches wide to the outside of these two I-beams, to the outside of the load section as well as 22 foot 8 inches wide if it was to stay in the same configuration. And then it is 159 inches tall from the floor to the top of the superstructure. Here is the interior of the main control panel. It does have AC tech drives in there. There's your Allen Bradley. Very good condition. Does have electrical prints with it.